just a quick video and uh, today's video is all about uh, how to remove a stuck chuck on your uh, Myford ML7. Now the Myford ML7 doesn't have a spindle lock so unlike the um, Super 7 you can't actually lock the spindle to be able to sort of you know to be able to get the chuck off. Now first of all before I, before I show you what methods I use um, the method you don't want to use is by uh, locking up the uh, the back gear with the ball wheel because if you do that yes it'll lock the spindle nice and tight but as soon as you uh, apply any force on the uh, on the chuck to be able to remove it you're probably going to end up breaking off the teeth on uh, on the ball wheel so that's a definite no-no so uh, one of the um, methods I had seen on YouTube was uh, to get one of these um, it's like an oil filter wrench strap and uh, wrap it around the ball gear and then sort of lock it up that way but I, I just found that um, because of the sort of greases and things like that this just slipped it didn't really do a great job I couldn't sort of hold it tight enough so um, that didn't work for me so an another method which is often sort of quoted in books and that is to uh, put your chuck key in and then just give it a, a firm old punch with the hand and um, although that sometimes works you know if the chuck is really quite tight all you're going to do is end up uh, bruising your hand and uh, they don't you, you know you don't want to really be sort of uh, hitting that with a mallet or anything like that because you're going to damage the uh, the pinions in there so again not really an ideal sort of situation you know unless the uh, unless the chuck isn't particularly stuck one of the methods i do use or i did use was uh, just a bit of a bit of hexagon bar uh, in the chuck and you just lock that up in there and then find a suitable spanner and of course then you can um, you can sort of tap the chuck with a with a mallet or something like this of course one of the one of the downsides is that it's still rotating so that you know you could accidentally slip or when the chuck does come loose you can collide the uh, spanner into the bed so again it, it's not a perfect solution you can of course use um, you know a bit of wood under there which you, you should do anyway if you're changing chucks you know just to protect the ways uh, but again equally I, I didn't really like that method I just felt it was a little bit heavy-handed um, what other methods were there oh that was it yeah there's um, in, in one of the um, one of the one of the books about the Myford uh, you can actually make a template up which will and you have to actually remove the ball gear from the spindle drill a hole in it and you build up a, a, a little jig which has got a peg in which drops in that hole or you could also use it uh, you could just sort of wedge it between the the little uh, screw there uh, which you know which locks the little dog down and again that will sort of lock it up but again I didn't like using that method one about the worried about the uh, the sort of strains put on that little screw and also uh, this casting here it's only a casting and although it looks quite sort of thick at the top half inch but just sort of a quarter inch below that it actually goes down to around a quarter inch so last thing you want to do is break the casting on the lathe because uh, that's the scrap lathe basically but of all the methods that I have tried the easiest one I've ever found is uh, well it's the simplest as well so it's uh, it's just a little block of hardwood uh, it might not even be hardwood this but it was uh, it's just a cut off of a you know a curtain pole that I fitted in the house and all, all you do is simply um, put it at the back there and that'll just act as a, as a, a you know a block and then uh, if I just zoom out a bit all, all you use is the um, I don't know whether you can see that well I basically just use the uh, you know the large pulley there from the motor to be able to be able to turn the chuck and I just drop that in the back there and I just give it a couple of taps and off it comes and as you can see that was a uh, that was probably the not that probably wasn't a particularly badly stuck chuck but that method there I've removed some really stubborn chucks by doing that so you just drop it behind there and just give it a couple of whacks until it becomes loose nice and easy of course if you've also got a um, you know an expanding mandrel uh, into the spindle that you use for say uh, thread cutting and stuff like that you know with the with your sort of crank crank handle uh, you know you could also use that as well to be able to um, you know if you wanted to turn that rather than actually grabbing hold of the pulley or obviously if you've got covers over your pulley that makes it a bit more difficult but yeah that, I mean that is a 
So that is a surefire way of removing, you know, a very stubborn chuck. Always simple, always easy. One of the other little things I do do to help sort of uh, reduce the, um, you know, the problem of having stuck chucks is uh, I, well, I, I built a little um, press tool which punches out these little uh, washers and they're just made from uh, like gasket material um, and I, that, you know, that fits over the spindle there and it just offers that little bit of uh, sort of um, compression you know, if the chuck gets tight it'll squeeze up against that which means there's, there's a bit more relief than when you come to remove it so that goes uh, some way of removing the problem and of course you, you don't have to have a, a you know, a press tool to make one of these. I mean, I just built the press tool because I wanted to make one. Uh, but you can, you could just cut these out of scissors or something like that. Really quite simple. So there you go. One of the uh, simplest methods, just a block of wood, actually works the best. And of course, you know, it's free. And uh, just before I go, don't forget, always put your chuck key back in the chuck so you can always find it next time. Thanks for watching.